you can see that the runway lights are on and those are on 1800 feet of a total distance of 3300 feet and they are radio controlled from here it's about um, 2,000 feet and then to those trees out there it would be an additional 2,000 feet so it's about 4,000 feet to those trees runway would be uh, 2,000 feet total distance about 4,000 as we pan towards the south we have an additional 1,400 feet and about 300 feet overrun straight ahead additional 800 feet or so overrun if you uh, bear to the right down a little bit this is the rear view which is also the runway view for lot number 10 everybody's got to have a speed limit sign so we've got ours up here you see a new house 2100 square feet on lot number 8 also a 2000 square foot hangar on lot number 8 and that is facing the runway here you see on lot number 10 another house that's over 2000 square foot and a hangar that's 2400 square feet both of these houses the back is to the runway new house on lot number three and you can see a 2,000 foot uh, hangar building <clears throat> and he is on the runway 1836 Like the 
Lindbergh left Long Island in 1927 Thumbed his nose at gravity and climbed into the heavens When he returned to Earth that night Everything had changed For the pilot and the planet Everything was rearranged We're a pretty mixed up bunch Of crazy human beings It's written on our rocket ships And in early cave wall scenes How does it happen? How do we know? Sits and watches Who does the show Some people love to lead Some refuse to dance Some play it safely Others take a chance Still it's all a mystery all the world where most live is oysters while some become pearls Elvis was the only man from northeast Mississippi who could shake his hips and still be loved by rednecks, cops, and hippies It's something more than DNA That tells us who we are It's method and it's magic We are of the stars Some never fade away Some crash and burn some make the world go around, others watch it turn. Still it's all a mystery, this place we call the world. Most are fine as oysters, while some become pearls. Lindbergh left Long Island in 1927.
Mini stock feature.
shagging till you've been to the beach, and you can wear your jeans and your fat Harold shagging oh, shirt. I love it. This is great. <laughs> so I'm taking well, joy having you oh, dance. Thank you. Look at this. I will take the shag out to the world. <laughs> Myrtle Beach is home to the U.S. Open and Masters Tournaments. I'm talking mini golf tournaments. Myrtle Beach is actually the mini golf capital of the world. It has over 60 kitsch, colorful, plastic molded, blue river filled courses. Sunday afternoon and I've come to Myrtle Beach State Park. It's a step back in time. Here, you couldn't be further away from the high-rise condos and hotels further up north on Ocean Drive. It's just an unspoiled beach surrounded by beautiful, undeveloped parkland. With 60 miles of beach here on the Grand Strand, you can take your pick. But I'm not here just for sea and sand. It's hard to believe I'm in the same place. One moment I'm in the Atlantic Ocean, frolicking in the waves, playing in the sand, and now I'm riding a bike through the woods. Beautiful woods. Here you can bike the trails, picnic, grill, or just chill. It's the perfect place to end my weekend here in Myrtle Beach. Well, not quite. You didn't think I'd come here without going to the amusement park, did you? At Family Kingdom, the last remaining traditional park on the Grand Strand. I just want you all to know it's been an honor being your host. Oh, gosh. Why did I do this? Why? Oh, no. OK, here we go. Make sure you keep your heads back at all times. Make sure you keep your head what? Keep your head back. Were there any other safety instructions we should have had before? Just then? hang on and enjoy. Here we go in three, oh my two, gosh. one. Bye-bye. <gasps> Home to wide, sandy beaches, North Myrtle Beach is a favorite destination for millions of visitors annually. But now, a new class of visitor is arriving, lured by one of the best training facilities on the East Coast. The North Myrtle Beach Aquatic and Fitness Center is a brand new training facility that is specifically designed to meet the training needs of competitive aquatic programs. Adjacent to the lap pool is a teaching therapy pool, a whirlpool, and a sauna. But the emphasis at this facility is not just aquatic. 8,700 square feet is dedicated to weight training and cardio fitness, featuring state-of-the-art equipment and free weights. The North Myrtle Beach Aquatic and Fitness Center also offers a gymnasium for basketball with a second floor, two lane jogging and walking track and two regulation racquetball courts. Massage therapy, aerobics classes, classroom space and a dedicated professional staff are all available to assist in your aquatic training. North Myrtle Beach is a premier resort destination that is part of a 60-mile stretch of sun-drenched beaches collectively called the Grand Strand. Here you will find world-class amenities and oceanfront accommodations suitable for all travel budgets. From the shopping and entertainment to be found at Barefoot Landing and Broadway at the Beach, the exciting live music theatrical extravaganzas, over 100 championship golf courses and specialty restaurants that offer a tempting array of fresh seafood to the natural scenic beauty, white sandy beaches and the history of the Carolina coast, you'll discover that North Myrtle Beach is an exciting destination.
Having been billed as the seaside golf capital of the world, the miniature golf capital of the world, and the campground capital of the world, there's no doubt the diversity is what keeps vacationers coming back to the Myrtle Beach area. The Grand Strand, which it is affectionately called because of the 60-mile stretch of white sandy beach sprinkled with golden sea oats, has become one of the nation's top family beach destinations in every major survey. Surely the beautiful blue Atlantic and the wide pristine beaches are the number one attraction, but golf, shopping, and live entertainment theaters are equally popular amenities. The ocean isn't the only water source, as the Intracoastal Waterway offers entertainment options along the rivers, creeks, inlets, and estuaries. The area is an ecotourist dream come true. With over a hundred golf courses, tea times are always available. Shopping comes in every shape and size, from Broadway at the Beach, Barefoot Landing, Tanger Outlet, Coastal Grand, Colonial Mall, Inlet Square, plus small boutiques and specialty stores. World famous restaurant chains abound, along with ethnic options and of course, seafood and more seafood. The entertainment scene is booming with dinner theaters and song and dance reviews covering every musical genre. There's something here to wow family members of any age. Arts and cultural events are plentiful from the symphony, theater, and choral groups to the many museums and hundreds of festivals scattered around the Strand. The arts scene is exploding. The Grand Strand from Little River to Georgetown has more than doubled its population in the past 20 years. Many longtime guests became full-time citizens because of their zest and excitement for this community. It is their passion as residents coupled with the smiling faces of those who visit that make up the heart and the soul of the Myrtle Beach area. The Grand Strand, a world-class resort destination. Back in the late 1800s, a Conway businessman, F.G. Burroughs, who made his living selling turpentine, tar, and pitch, purchased most of the land which is now Myrtle Beach. The area was first called Newtown, but it was F.G. Burroughs' wife who renamed it Myrtle Beach in recognition of all the wax myrtle bushes that grew wild along the shoreline. The Seaside Inn was the first motel built in 1901 under the direction of F.G. Burroughs' son, with rooms renting at two dollars a day. In 1912, Simeon B. Chapin, a Chicago investor, partnered with the Burroughs family to assist with development and the Myrtle Beach Farms Company was born, currently known as Burroughs and Chapin Company. They remained the biggest landowners and developers in Myrtle Beach. Incorporated in 1938, Myrtle Beach has become a world-class resort. Hotels and condominiums with beautiful views of the Atlantic beckon visitors to come stay and play. The beach, now dotted with sea oats rather than wax myrtles, is the vacationer's number one reason to visit. The area is a mecca for golf, pier fishing, surf fishing, great food, entertainment, and live musical theater featuring the Carolina Opry, Dixie Stampede, Medieval Times, and the Palace Theater. And with more than 30 thrilling rides, Family Kingdom Amusement Park features South Carolina's largest Ferris wheel and the legendary Swamp Fox wooden roller coaster. Broadway at the Beach is a shopper's paradise. Inside this lakeside complex, Ripley's Aquarium will wow every member of the family. Plus, there's miniature golf, a cinema complex, IMAX theater, and restaurants galore. NASCAR Speed Park and Myrtle Waves will add thrills to any vacation. It's all within walking distance to some of the best theme restaurants in the world. Heading south is the Art Museum, adjacent to the Spring Maid Pier. Admission is free and it's a fun way to spend an hour or two. It neighbors the Myrtle Beach International Airport. Then just another few steps further south is Myrtle Beach State Park. 
home of the first campground and fishing pier in the area. With a festival or two every month, there's always something for everyone. The Canadian American Days Festival in March welcomes visitors to the beach with entertainment galore. And the Sun Fun Festival is the official start to the summer season. It's a world-class festival held the first weekend in June. Myrtle Beach, one of America's favorite family beach destinations. Let's shag. That may be the two most popular words in North Myrtle Beach. Derived from the jitterbug, the shag is a slower version, and the city's biggest festival center on the shaggers. The Society of Stranders migrate to the beach twice a year to relive days gone by. From parades to dancing in the streets, there's no finer way to witness the popularity of our state dance. North Myrtle Beach was established in 1968 when the beach communities of Ocean Drive, Windy Hill, Crescent Beach, and Cherry Grove merged into one municipality. Since then, North Myrtle Beach has grown into one of our country's favorite vacation destinations, and it's no wonder. Ocean Drive offers a host of accommodations, everything from mom and pop hotels to luxury resorts and condominiums, with public access to the wide, beautiful beaches that made North Myrtle Beach famous. Main Street is home to all the action, including Endless Summer, a season-long promotion featuring entertainment and art. St. Patrick's Day is a big celebration here, and Main Street is also where you'll find unique shops, boutiques, and nightclubs. North Myrtle Beach is also home to Barefoot Landing, a great retail adventure with shops and restaurants perched over a nature-friendly environment along the Intracoastal Waterway. Here is where you'll also find live entertainment with the Alabama Theater and the House of Blues. Alligator Adventure is a one-of-a-kind attraction starring hundreds of our reptilian natives. North Myrtle Beach is home to many elaborately themed miniature golf courses and is centrally located to some of the very best championship golf courses the Grand Strand has to offer. And finally, La Bellamy Vineyard offers regular musical festivals, tours, and wine tastings in a beautiful country setting. Come experience the sights, sounds, and flavors of North Myrtle Beach. Little River, Horry County's oldest existing settlement has best been described as a quaint little fishing village. Bordering the two Carolinas, visitors come from the north and south to experience a little bit of what is left of that sleepy slow pace of days gone by. The community got its name from the Native Americans who first settled here and called it Mineola, meaning Little River, referring to the body of water that became part of the Intracoastal Waterway. In the 1700s, the area was a natural haven for pirates, and during the Civil War, the waterfront was raided by northern gunboats. Today, marinas, restaurants, and colorful shops have popped up on every corner. Many of the stores themselves are attractions, featuring collectibles like shells, dolls, and Christmas decorations. Benefiting from its waterway location, Little River is the home of many commercial fishing boats, just watching the boats dock and unload their catch is a thrill for some. The shrimp boats are among the favorites, as most folks marvel to see shrimp with their heads still on. Dockside, you'll also find deep sea fishing charters that will take you out to hook the big ones. Imagine the fish stories you'll have after a trip on one of these. Added to the mix are charter boats and sightseeing boats that take you out to where the waterway meets the sea. Little River is also home to the area's only casino boats that offer daily and nightly offshore excursions. But Little River's biggest draw each year is the ever popular Blue Crab Festival, which is held in May the weekend after Mother's Day. Arts and crafts, a petting zoo for the kids, and entertainment to please every imaginable musical favorite.
Enjoy the uniqueness of Little River, just one of the many communities that make up the Grand Strand. Known for its moss-draped live oak trees, Conway is proud to be called Tree City USA. And on some streets, the oak trees definitely have the right of way. Conway is the seat of county government, named after Robert Conway, a five-term legislator and veteran of the revolution. The city features over a dozen sites listed with the National Historic Register, including homes, churches, cemeteries, that all surround the business district, which is part of Main Street USA. Preservation is the key, as you see when you browse through art galleries, antique shops, restaurants, and cafes. The Main Street Theater in the center of downtown once served as Conway's oldest movie house. It was restored and revitalized by the Theater of the Republic, which stages a regular schedule of live community theater productions. One of Conway's most prestigious buildings is the former courthouse, now Conway City Hall. It was designed in 1824 by Robert Mills, the South Carolina architect who also designed the Washington Monument. Here you will find Conway's famous city clock. Horry County Museum is a must-see attraction that tells the story of the early years. Best of all, it's free. But Conway's greatest asset is the beautiful Waccamaw River, formerly used to provide commercial trade with a way to ship cotton, rice, and timber. Its current focus is recreation. The Riverwalk, Conway's magnificent boardwalk and riverfront park have become the hub of community activities. Festivals like Round the Fourth, Bluegrass on the Waccamaw, and Rivertown Jazz and Blues are all held in this beautiful location. Conway is also home to Coastal Carolina University and Ori Georgetown Technical College. Stop by Conway's Visitor Center and sign up for an escorted walking tour of the city or pick up a map and take a leisurely stroll on your own. Conway, South Carolina's historic river town. It's a city of firsts. Loris, just 25 miles northwest of Myrtle Beach, was the first city in South Carolina to have its own newspaper, bank, high school, doctor, complete telephone system, and one of the earliest cotton markets in the state. The community grew from the evolution of the railroad in Horry County, built to accommodate the emerging lumber industry. Incorporated in 1902, Loris became one of the major train stops for the Wilmington, Chadburn, and Conway railroads. One year later, Loris flourished even more due to the tobacco market. Some of the county's most beautiful farms of yesterday and today can be found in Loris. Downtown features upscale women's clothing, unique specialty stores, cafes, and restaurants, while sporting enthusiasts can enjoy beautiful golf courses, campgrounds, fishing and hunting facilities. Playcard Environmental Center is a community treasure. Located 10 miles west of Loris, this natural habitat draws visitors year-round with natural exhibits on our local ecosystem, early Native American life, and on the wildlife that exists in the local forest streams and rivers. And finally, no discussion of Loris is possible without a peek at the Loris Bogoff Festival. Drawing crowds of over 25,000 people, this event held each year in October features arts, crafts, dancing, pageants, food vendors, and most importantly, chicken bog competitions. What's a chicken bog, you ask? <laughs> it's a delicious mixture of rice, chicken, broth, and secret spices, all depending on who's doing the cooking. Loris, come see small town Americana at its finest, Horry County style. Cruise the creeks where notorious Blackbeard once roamed. The historic fishing village of Merle's Inlet, located 10 miles south of Myrtle Beach, is best known as the seafood capital of South Carolina. 
Waterfront restaurants boast of award-winning chefs who create culinary masterpieces nightly with fresh seafood that might have been caught just outside your window. Merle's Inlet beckons you to take a stroll on the award-winning marsh walk that skirts the creek. Egrets, osprey, herons, and other waterfowl will greet you along the way. But for a more close-up encounter, Captain Dick's Marina offers half-day and full-day charter fishing excursions, boat and jet ski rentals, and family tours to explore the wonders and ecology of the inlet and salt marsh. Just south of Merle's Inlet is America's largest outdoor sculpture garden. Brook Green Gardens features some of the most prominent sculpture in the world, surrounded in a setting of beautiful floral gardens and outdoor fountains. The Allee of Oaks is a sight to behold, and the boat tour of the historic rice fields will take you back in time. Families especially enjoy the aviary and zoological park, featuring animals that are native to South Carolina. Merle's Inlet is also home to many local antique shops. And just as all of our communities boast about their share of magnificent golf courses, Merle's Inlet is home to the famous Tournament Players Club. Spend some time and savor the flavors. Admire the splendor and experience the bounty of nature. Discover the quaintness of Merle's Inlet. The Grand Strand area is proud to host two beautiful state parks. Huntington Beach State Park is located just south of Merle's Inlet and directly across the highway from Brook Green Gardens. Its main attraction is its pristine beach and the Atlantic Ocean. But it also features a freshwater lagoon and salt marsh. Boardwalks and nature trails bring you up close with migratory shorebirds and wild native alligators. A popular camping destination, Huntington Beach State Park also features an educational center with daily programs, and the park is also home to historic Adelaide, the former winter home of archer and sculptress Anna Hyatt Huntington. This castle in the sand is the site of many weddings and special events, including the Adelaide Arts and Crafts Festival held every September. Huntington Beach is also a major nesting ground for sea turtles. Each year, volunteers assist the park rangers in locating and protecting the nests from natural predators. Myrtle Beach State Park is just three miles south of downtown Myrtle Beach and was the first state park open to the public. Camping is popular and sites are rented on a first-come basis. The park offers picnic shelters, a park store for the necessities, and a fishing pier to round out the amenities. Through the Nature Center, park naturalists conduct tours and present programs that educate, enlighten, and entertain. Learn about the native habitat or participate in a bird watching excursion. And even though a small admission fee is required to enter each of our state parks, you'll discover it's well worth it. These parks offer the best ecotourism opportunities and the best chance to find shells, shark's teeth, and other sea wash treasures. But most of all, they provide a rare glimpse into the solitude and natural beauty that once existed throughout the entire Grand Strand. Huntington Beach State Park and Myrtle Beach State Park. Experience the natural beauty of the Grand Strand. Welcome to Surfside Beach, known by many as the Family Beach. Incorporated as a town in 1964, Surfside Beach is a close-knit small community that is growing in stature and prominence. Here you will not find the beach shadowed by high-rise condos. Instead, this pristine oceanfront is lined with family-owned homes that are perfect for weekly or seasonal rentals. Surfside Beach is bordered by several award-winning camping resorts which have been recognized nationally for their incredible amenities, making them little communities within their own gates. 
The Surfside Pier is a community landmark. Take a walk or wet a line. The pier is a great way to relax and spend a few hours. Here you can get a fishing license, a variety of bait, and all the necessary tackle to make your fish stories come to life. Surfside, in keeping with its family beach image, is proud of its parks. The All Children's Park is a special place, and that was designed for all children, those with and without disabilities. And the Veterans Memorial is a must-see at beautiful Fuller Park, where you can also find fresh seasonal produce. Martins Park is home to bocce ball and a huge baseball complex, while Huckabee Park houses the town's recreational facilities used by locals and visitors alike. Surfside hosts two annual festivals, Sun Fun Super Sunday, held the first Sunday of June, and Surfside Beach Family Festival the first Saturday in October. Those events bring thousands of people into the community who come to enjoy good food and great entertainment. But great food and entertainment can be found year-round in Surfside Beach, with landmark restaurants, the excitement of Legends and Concert Theater, and the thrills of wild water and wheels. And finally, Surf's Up. Surfside Beach is one of the area's best for hanging ten and catching a wave. Come bring your family and see what you've been missing in the town of Surfside Beach. Situated between the Waccamaw River and the Atlantic Ocean are the low country communities of Litchfield and Polly's Island. Litchfield Beach derives its name from the historic antebellum style Litchfield Plantation, located on the Waccamaw River. Formerly a rice plantation, this manor house is one of the area's best examples of bygone days. All accentuated with majestic live oaks draped in Spanish moss. Litchfield, like all the other Grand Strand communities, boasts of its golf courses. But there's another game that's popular here. Litchfield Golf and Beach Resort is home to some of the finest tennis courts in the area. Exquisite resorts, quaint shops, and one-of-a-kind restaurants all celebrate the southern traditions of the low country and makes Litchfield a nice escape to a slower pace of life. A little further south is Polly's Island. Originally a summer retreat for plantation owners since the 1800s, Polly's Island considers itself to be the oldest resort in America. Many of the oceanfront homes, having been battered by storms over the years, appear to be weathered and unkept, but the owners prefer this rustic look and have taken pride in referring to themselves as arrogantly shabby. It is here on this two-mile stretch of island that families come to unwind, and the low-key lifestyle here is the only lifestyle. No high-rise hotels or condos, only family homes, and a couple of B&Bs are available, but the allure of Polly's Island is in its simplicity and tranquility. Of course, you can still find signature golf courses, unique dining experiences, ecotourism opportunities, fishing and crabbing in the ocean and inlets, and the shopping at the famous Polly's Island hammock shops is not to be missed. Experience the southern charm, natural beauty, and elegance to be found in Litchfield and Polly's Island. Okay. These next few slides are from our forum that's given each year at Sun and Fun and also at Oshkosh. It gives you criteria to consider in regards to finalizing your selection of which particular air parks that you have an interest in so that you can combine this information through a point process and make your final decision based on this summary of the information that you've collected by visiting the air parks that you had an interest in. You can receive more information by contacting me Ron at Hardy Air Park and I can send you by email uh, this particular point presentation and other documents to help you out through your decision. We look forward to helping you in any way we can.